This is your boy Nose Gamer guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all some FIFA 19 sniping and mass bidding filters, guys. I'm gonna be showing y'all some some players you can be looking to snipe and make a ton of coins on right now. Uh, we have we do have the mid icon SBC out. We have foot birthday out. We have a ton of different promotions out, so you can be sniping some players and making some consistent coins, quick coins. So I'm gonna show y'all some players you can snipe and mass bid on. And, and look to make coins off of but if you are new to the channel guys this whole channel is based on FIFA 19 ultimate team trading so if you want to learn how to trade if you want to learn the best trading methods see videos like this where I, I give y'all sniping and mass bidding filters or if it's longer term investment videos I also do those videos as well and then I also do uh, market crash and um, um, uh, when to buy when to sell type player videos that will help you also maintain and invest your coins and not lose coins and know when to buy and sell players more efficiently guys so if you want to learn how to make millions of coins this is the channel for you hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video to subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button to turn on my post notifications and smash the like button on the video guys if you have ad any additional questions uh, feel free to DM me on Twitter at Nails Gaming or on Instagram at Deontay Nails and I'll get back to y'all as soon as possible. All you got to do is follow me and DM me, and um, I will get back to you. And then also, guys, if you want to see me trade or play foot champs and division rivals live, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash gaming. That link is in the description, followed by all my so my, all my social media links um, and stuff like that. But without further ado, let's get into the video for today. We're going to talk about these snapping and mass bidding filters, and we're going to start off with the higher budget filters. These, these filters are going to cost you. I, w I would say this: these filters you're gonna need around maybe a hundred thousand. I would say maybe no less than fifty. I would say more like a hundred thousand coins to really do this more efficiently. Um, so these M forms are really good to snipe because they are needed because there are SBCs. Um, there's different things going on. These cards are still in circulation, so there's a new supply of these cards coming on the market, and there's also a demand for them because people are using these cards um, to, of course, uh, put in SBCs and to uh, complete those SBCs with. Um, so we're going to take a look at these card prices and I'm going to go through and I'm going to explain to y'all which cards that are the best ones to snipe and mass bid on and why. Um, so for example guys, I don't ever snipe or mass bid on any informs under 14,000 coins. Or really any, you can go 13,000 but those margins start to get tight uh, because of the, uh, the price ranges and, and the minimum and maximum you have to sell the cards and, and you have to buy the cards for and then also with the tax it just becomes really really difficult to get those cards for for cheap enough to be able to make a consistent profit a good profit because with these informs you want to make between 750 to a thousand coins a card um, on these um, but we're going to break it down and we're going to go right into it and then you guys you don't also you don't want to really snipe or mass bid on any cards over 35,000 coins and that is simply because um, once it gets over 30 35 K you're gonna have to really start getting those cards for uh, really significantly lower than what they're going for to make profit and it becomes harder to win those cards consistently so that that 13 to 35 30 K uh, window is the best window to look at so we're gonna look at informs at that price footbin.com is a perfect tool um, so if you haven't already go check out footbin.com um, first off the first inform is a uh, uh, bar or Barrelella, um, he is a uh, Italian center mid. He's thirteen thousand on both consoles. Um, next up um, is uh, Payatov. Uh, Payatov, where is Payatov? At? Payatov is an eighty-two goalkeeper. He's fourteen thousand coins on both consoles. Um, where is Marco? Marco is what is he? He's an eighty-two overall goalkeeper as well. He's right here. Um, he, Marco, um, he's around. 15,000, 16,000, 15,000 on PS4, 16,000 on, on Xbox One. So he's a good one you can kind of snipe and mass bid on. Um, uh, Zavi, uh, Zavi, he is around 17,000 coins on Xbox One, 18,000 on PS4. Um, then uh, Bakambu, uh, Bakambu is, he's a good one. I mean, he's a hero card as well, so he's going to be a little bit more rare. And this card will be actually be a good one to kind of, I would say, really to kind of invest in the hold um, he's around 16,000 coins um, on Xbox one 17,000 on PS4 um, next up is Rundon uh, Rundon guys he's a BPL um, inform he's around 23,000 coins on both consoles uh, Schultz um, he's a, a Bundesliga left mid right here he is around 26,000 on Xbox one 25,000 on PS4 um, Gillick um, he's an 85 inform and he's around 32,000 coins on both consoles. And without further ado, that is going to be it. Those, those, the, 
that is all of the informs that I would tell y'all to snipe because all the rest of the informs are, are really too expensive or they're really like they're, they're just too cheap um, so that's the sweet spot um, lastly I did miss one uh, this guy is also good to snipe uh, Moonini or Mooney um, he is around 15,000 coins on both consoles so you can try to snipe him pick him up and then quick flip him as well um, with him being around 15,000 coins and then guys let's say you have you just have an abundance of coins um, let's say you have a good amount of coins and you're just chilling on coins um, you can um, invest in some of these uh, cheaper informs um, like let's see um, Moreno's a good one he's only 12,000 coins and he's a Liga Santander inform um, Shurishev he's around 11,000 coins 12,000 max um, and he's a good one you can invest in he's a Liga Santander inform um, followed by also um, let's see I would say those are not really the main two that uh, maybe maybe Kadar but he's not from a good league um, yeah I would say um, Barilla um, Moreno and Sherry Chef are really really safe investments I would say that they're going for around 12 to 13,000 um, Barilla is more of a, of a 13,000 um, he's more in that 13,000 coin price range um, but Moreno and uh, Sherry Chef um, he's he they're both going for around 12,000 or under so with that guys you can try to get these cars like I say you can snipe um, you can snipe uh, let's see where is he at you can snipe Ballarilla um, and, and try to get them for maybe 11,000 and you can quick lift them or you can hold on to them um, same thing for Moreno same thing for uh, Sherry Chef you can try to get these cars for maybe 11 10,500 and you can hold on to these cars and, and they will definitely go up to around 15 16,000 coins and you can make a couple thousand coins profit per car and if you have a ton of transfer space or you have um, or you have an abundance of coins that you want to kind of uh, put into an investment for a week or two these are definitely some informs you can and all uh, there are also good investments or like I think I feel like Ronda is a good investment but this team of the week is really weird um, because the, the prices are really really weird on these informs simply because of um, of the the promotions pulling the informs kind of off the market and then people also hitting packs so it's kind of like a you know, at, at a weird price range that's why I did not really make a full uh, team of the week investment guide but I did kind of go over that um, in yesterday's video so go check out that video I'll leave that video link in the description but I'm going to get into one last thing. I'm going to show y'all what I mean by sniping and mass bidding filters and what, what I mean by sniping and mass bidding for those of you who are confused by that. And then also I'll explain some kind of cheaper uh, players you can kind of snipe and mass bid on right now um, as well. So guys, let's say um, you want to go snipe. Um, let's say you got a couple, maybe 100,000 coins. You want to go snipe and make some coins. Um, go to uh, this Marco guy. Um, I don't think he has another inform. I think this is his only inform. Yeah, this is only inform. So what you would do is you go to special cards. You would go to. Um, so I said he was going for around uh, on Footband. It says around sixteen thousand coins on Xbox One. Um, let's see, around sixteen thousand. Yeah, let's hit, let's just say he sells for around sixteen k. You want to look for his pr buy now price in that 40, 30, 30 40 minute mark um, because you don't want to list it at what it's going for at the fifty nine minute mark because you can hold on to it. You can let it sell for maybe 10, 15 more minutes, 30 more minutes, and you can make maybe up to maybe 250 or 500 more coins per card while you're doing something else, and that's that's mo that's really really uh, beneficial. Um, if you say if you have 10 of those, you can make an extra 5,000 coins an hour just by listing them for a little bit more than what they're going for, and and, and actually waiting to get your get a return on your investment. Um, so uh, what you would do is you would find out what he's going for in the 30, 40 minute mark. We said 16k. So what you would do is you have to inc incorporate the tax. So what are you going to get taxed on 16,000 if you sell them for that? You're going to get taxed around 800 coins. So you're going to have to go down um, around 1,000 coins. And at this point, you're going to profit around 200 coins. Um, so you're going to go down another 500. And at this point, you're going to profit around two, uh, 700 coins. That's right where you want to be profiting at. You want to profit maybe a little bit more, maybe close to 1,000. But 700 coins is a good place to start. And what you would do is you would just just go here put the max uh, max uh, price at like 10 million and just start sniping hold hold your left analog stick over and just start sniping until something pops up um, and it's really early in the morning in the UK right now um, so it's not gonna be a lot of, of things uh, that, that pop up uh, simply because it's so early for the, the majority of, of population and places that people are playing the game um, so um, the best time to do these filters um, is 
around, I would say around eh, maybe 1, 2 p.m. UK time to about midnight UK time. That's the best time to really snipe. Um, that is the prime time of the market because even in the U.S. it's super early in the morning. And the, everywhere in the world that mainly is a, a FIFA a country that plays FIFA, um, it's really, really early in the morning. Uh, so that is why nothing's really popping up. But if you continue to snipe and nothing pops up um, and you are doing it in the prime hours, you can go and, and change this max price to maybe 14.5 and then you can try to win them on the bid and try to get, get them cheap on the bid and then you can relist them and quick, uh, quick, quick flip them like that and let's say you can't pick up any of those Marcos you can go do that with all the informs I just went over Brawlerella, Piatov, uh, uh, Marco, uh, Bakambu, Rondon, Schultz, Gillick, um, and, and Zahavi um, so that's kind of an example of what I mean by sniping mass bidding um, so you can go pick up pick out any of these informs and go do that for for the ones that I did say um, and I'll go over it again Gillick, um, Piatov, uh, Barella, Rondon, Zahavi, um, and then Schultz and Marco and Bakambu and then this Munyain guy. So those are the informs you can kind of go in and, and, and snipe and mass bid on and make some quick coins on. And guys, let me know in the comments because every every week I do do this video um, showing all the best informs to snipe and people do let me know how much they make. I'm curious to know how much you make um, or what, what is the record you can make in an hour uh, using these filters or what, what, how much do you make a week sniping informs. Um, but lastly, uh, for the cheaper players, some, some players you can snipe that are cheaper, maybe under 10,000 coins, um, are definitely 84s. And I don't know if 85s are under that right now. I think 85, let's check out 85s on Footbin. I'm thinking 85s are still really kind of expensive. Um, so let's see. 85s, yeah, 85s are still kind of expensive. So if you're on a budget, let's say you only have you have under 50,000 coins, what I would say do is go pick out some 84s. Um, definitely, there's a lot of 84s that go for in between that three to eight, three to 10k mark. Uh, go pick out some 84 goals, snipe, start sniping those, and and that will definitely make you coins. And if you need an example of some 84s, I can go through a quick list. Some 84s you can snipe are, uh, for example, uh, uh, Manzukic. Abul, Raul Abul, uh, Carvajal, uh, Bernardo Silva, Stefan Ruffier, Lopez, Perrin, Javier Martinez, Nicolas Sully, uh, Stefan Divergi, Sergio Asensio, Chesney, um, Hiradeki, uh, Schmeichel, Roberto. Those are some 84s you can kind of snipe. There is some more. It's a full list on footman.com you can check out. Um, but if you do have more coins, you can snipe also um, 85s and 86s, and then you will be able to make some good profit on those gold cards as well but guys thank y'all for watching like subscribe to the channel if you are new if you have any additional trading questions feel free to put it in the comment section and let me know how much y'all are making off of sniping it's me boy nose gaming like subscribe and guys also put in the comment section what do you want me to make more content on because there's not a ton of trading content because of the state the market is in right now so let me know what other kind of fifa content y'all would like to see um in the comment section it's me boy nose gaming thank y'all for watching peace out guys